Hopefully it'll be quiet enough to do a little video here. We're at the Utica, New York studio today. And amongst other things I'm going to be working on making habitation domes and space lighthouses out of things like old chewing gum containers and specimen jars, pharmacy lids, and gumball machine globes. And I brought along some uh, new old stock from the uh, Ogle wall to think about. Here's something called the Space Station Set. Beta is the company. Cake Decor is the line. There's your stock number up there in the corner. Tax were applicable. Betty's Variety offered at $1.69. Uh, no, no, no clue as to when, although there's a stock number or, uh, uh, on the information here at the bottom. There's a 1977 date, um, which just confirms that people were still making these swap it style uh, plug head spacemen for quite a while. Um, and, and I'm following one right now that I really want to get, although it's just two guys in the flag and the price is a lot. That was uh, has a 1983 date on the package. So need to learn more about these things, about who, who transmuted the form. Marks definitely did their own versions of it, but these are uh, more hard plastic. The Marks pieces were of a softer plastic. I need some candle holders and the uh, <coughs> burnables there, and this the ubiquitous uh, U.S. flag. Although that's a different sized uh, moon rock piece for it to get stuck into, and I don't know why anybody would want to put that on a cake run along a couple of the Apollo moon exploring sets to look at and think about. Which one's this here? 304F with the moon base component. There's a Major Matt Mason stand-up moon sled and of course an LP Toys uh, golden style astronaut. If you can sort of see his base, you can see the LP logo there. And this moon base piece is just fascinating. Uh, I want to open it and use it in my art. May try the uh, acetone method, and the uh, blister card does not appear to have been used as a sponge. Here's the Apollo Moon Exploring 304K. The rocket is actually derived from a Walt Disney movie form, uh, certainly unlicensed. I'm sure they were pleased by that. There's our golden astronaut there. Let's take a look. See if we can I'm take this off the stand. Yep, he's marked. And there's another major Matt Mason stand-up sled. Looks like the flying saucer launcher in this one. I'll have to get into my major Matt Mason idiom at some point, and then the marvelous rocket, and I want to open it for the rocket. Um, this one, uh, I want to say, was it was used as a squeegee rather than as a sponge. Maybe they had a flood at some uh, bargain outlet. Um, and I'm, I'm looking at the bottom of these and seeing how how firmly the, the plastic is attached. Uh, you know, you, you, of course, you hope other units turn up so you can open one. Here's the mysterious moon traffic. That collection, and I did manage to find a, 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 a Paul Vreed actually has another e example of the packaging posted, and uh, the the Prospector blister is differently shaped, so they definitely just glommed onto a blister there. These are astronauts. Can you see it's on the base of them? I think they're marked LP. Neither here nor there. And this is the one that's really goading at me. I want to open this. I want my parachute landing astronaut in space capsule. Here's the space capsule. Shimmel Sons Incorporated, Brooklyn, New York. Made in British Crown Colony, Hong Kong. Somebody offered it at 59 cents, which is a little bit more you know, than the, the truly vintage era things, the, these Apollo Moon Explorings were 39 cents each. Moon traffic eventually made it down to 19 cents. And of course, uh, 
Betty's Variety had this at $1.69, but that was even later in the 70s. Um, from the graphics, I'm, I'm hoping it's late 60s and just maybe a little bit more expensive um, because it's it's got, got a lot going for it. The parachute's separate. Space Man is a marvelous form. Uh, never seen the like, only in that. And he's got his, his oxygen tanks. I'm wondering what any of it was derived from or if it's from whole cloth. Um, and again, eyeing how the plastic is connected to it. Let's sort of see. I'm not sure. I've got it sealed in a bag, obviously, to, to protect it. And the plastic there it does not go all the way to the end of the card. Um, a little bit of bending around along the top, but I don't want to screw up the printing, and it's just too beautiful as it is to ruin. So that's why it stayed the way it has. And and for a project this evening, what I, what I came up to do with myself is that it struck me that my LP Toys and Golden Astronaut uh, box is a little bit packed, a little bit too tight to be completely uh, safe. So I'm going to loosen them up by, I guess, getting the Golden Astronaut vehicles into this thing. And then spread the LP pieces out, pick out the Golden Astronaut figures from the figure stash. These are, these are interesting. I haven't really shown them before. But these two came from a, a British vendor who specialized in the dead stock cake topping decorations like this thing here where they had all these leftover space toys after the fad had died out and we're like well you know what we'll tell people these will make great cake topping decorations and these have no markings on the bottom the form has been uh, identified as a Hong Kong derived thing I think they look female and Russian so these are my Russian cosmonaut babes let's pick her out they get hand painted to one degree or another. This was the first one I got from the Ancient Mariner. And I like them. They're an interesting form. We'll take a look at them some other time. Um, no idea who originated them. No markings of any real use on the bottoms of any of them. Uh, but I keep them with the LP figures. And there's... These are chrome. Well, one looks yellow, so there's an ast golden astronaut guy. All sorts of interesting stuff in here. There's some golden astronaut guys. Where is he? There's my golden astronaut Geiger counter guy. He's rare. And a lot of the small LP figures will keep the LP stuff with the LP stuff. And on my blogging, at least, I've started referring to these things as checker rockets. It's because of that marvelous checkered uh, sticker, emblem. They, what do they call it? Sticker, I guess, that wraps around the base of the LP rockets form. Here's two versions that are both, I'm afraid, uh, copies of the original LP forms. I don't think LP made these. The red-tipped one came from another cake decorating set by Genuine. Unique, sorry, Unique Party Favors cake decoration set. And I'm trying to show that it's got a script running up there on one side of the capsule that says Made in Hong Kong. This one in white has no script, but because of the shape of the uh, upper engine, the cells, I guess you'd call them, um, they're from the later period mold. So not all the white ones are going to be of uh, the real vintage mid-60s LP made uh, stock. I've got one. Obviously, I've got quite a few. And maybe we'll do a, a full inventory video of all this stuff but for right now I want them a little bit less you know thing, things like this major mat maze that's hard plastic that's that shouldn't be pressed against by other hard plastic things 
and the uh, SpaceX stuff definitely deserves its own container. So I'm going to get busy and have fun.